I look at it, if I use the talents and capabilities I happen to have been given to the best of my ability, I think there is a power greater than I am that will certainly uh, see that I'm taken care of if I do my part of the bargain.
I would believe you could lower your body core temperature with that ice. Really, really cold. Oh yeah, it's it's a noticeable okay. difference than um, the flight. The yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you want to work with us before we go into all this? Um, no, go ahead and let him put his calm cap on. Before we go out there, yeah, just follow the same way that we came in. We'll go out here at the top I got to check that too because I got to help her get in and out of there. <laughs> No, legs are too long. After, yeah. That's, that's after we cut all your hair off. Scott. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just keep my hands out of sight during the picture. How about that? Yeah, stay behind somebody. In the uh, white room, getting his harness and stuff ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Houston Discovery, roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. Did a little celebrating and got right to work. They did all the work of uh, getting everybody out of their suits, packing everything up. We had about 21 bags down there. Back up on the flight deck looking aft, we uh, opened the payload bay doors so we could get to work with our payloads in the payload bay and also to uh, allow cooling. One of the very many experiments is this one in which uh, we studied the production of small quantities of a material called aerogel, which is an, a very a novel experiment will hopefully help us understand the hows and whys of uh, muscle protein buildup and breakdown. And John? And, uh, non smelly. Uh, that was some of the exercise uh, there. Took a towel bath after that was over, obviously. And uh, this is Shockey in one of her more somber moods, as you can see. <laughs> uh, going at it there, Miss Energy herself, nuclear energy. Someone passed her something to drink. And this is Pedro, who I think has had about enough. He's looking at his watch. He's been on it for at least a minute and a half at that point, I think. <laughs> And this was getting ready to go to bed in the sleep stations that we had for uh, three sleep stations on board because of the sleep experiment. And this is when uh, we're getting ready to go to bed one evening or get into the sleep station or not that evening and uh, shut the door. We, had some, we took some 2,500 pictures on board and that from the 350 uh, statute miles high that we were, they were spectacular. And we learned a lot as they, we were briefed on yesterday and uh, the uh, Picture the view from up there. Don't let anyone tell you that 28 degrees and a half inclination is bad if you can be up at 350 statute miles because uh, we had tremendous views from up there and got uh, a lot of wonderful pictures. There's a picture of a Terminator as you go from light to dark, and uh, it's very definite. The light goes down uh, over the side of the earth from there. Well, after uh, nine fun-filled days, the uh, flight director told us we had to come back. We didn't want to. Uh, here we are, we're reconfiguring the vehicle back into an uh, entry vehicle or an airplane. Meanwhile, in the mid-deck, their job is to get us all in our suits and get all the bags stowed again. Here they're instrumenting John up for one of the medical tests. It's going to monitor his heart rate and blood pressure and things like that as we enter.